Hello there and welcome to an interactive video on literary criticism here at the TCC Library. My name is Adam Brennan, I'm a librarian here at the TCC Metro Campus, and I will be your guide today to introducing this topic. By the end of this video, you will meet the following learning outcomes. You will be able to have a general understanding of what literary criticism is, navigate to TCC Library databases containing literary criticism, employ successful searching strategies to find literary criticism, and know what to do and where to go to find literary criticism outside the TCC Library as well. This is the agenda for our session as well. We will go over a brief introduction as to what literary criticism is, then spend our time concentrating on where it can be found at the TCC Library. So, what is literary criticism, also known as Lit Crit? For one, it's an older way of learning than you might initially guess. The first systematic critique of a work is often cited as Aristotle's response to Plato's Republic. Aristotle was responding to Plato's role of poets in the Republic. Oxford World Dictionary would say, it's a discipline concerned with literary theory and the evaluation of literary works. In other words, lit crits are secondary sources, articles written by experts that evaluate or critique a particular piece of literature. These experts may be interested in certain themes that a work has, or perhaps a new kind of writing style or innovation that is displayed in the work study. Critiques can be about any part of a literature piece, whether it's the content or the form that it's written in. Litcrit has existed as a form since ancient Greece, but it truly exploded in the 20th century, especially in the 1960s and 1970s. There are now entire journals and publications that deal explicitly with this kind of scholarly article. What words of wisdom could I offer to someone who hasn't started authoring a paper that utilizes lit crit? First off, always follow the assignment. If your assignment perimeters call on you to study a particular story or writing, then absolutely do that. If, however, you have more of a choice on what you get to write about, I can offer a couple of pointers. The biggest thing to remember is that the majority of lit crit was written in the 20th century. Lucky for us, lit crit has a very long shelf life, and insights and articles from 50 years ago can still be as relevant today as they were when they were written. But this does mean that selecting a piece of literature that has been around since the 50s or 60s will be much easier to find criticism on than something more contemporary. Second, although we can find a wide range of literary traditions and authors in the databases, literature in the Western tradition is still the most plentiful and easiest to find. Third, the more famous and or prolific the writer, the more of an academic interest there will be in their work, and the easier it will be to find criticism. It is also easier to find lit crit on more serious works, versus works of a popular culture or more entertainment-focused nature. Finally, there are regional variations on access to lit crit through publishing. For example, the University of Oklahoma Press publishes materials of regional interest in Oklahoma, such as information on Will Rogers' writings. This doesn't come up as often, but it is worth noting. The first place to visit in the TCC Library for Lit Crit would be the Gale Literature Criticism databases. There are three of them, Literature Criticism, Literature Resource Center, and Lit Finder. You may access all of them by following the Articles and Databases link on the TCC Library homepage. And then you can either scroll down to the L's or, better yet, use the subject drop-down menu to limit your databases to those that best support English and literature. Then scroll down to the L's. Let's start with Gale Literature Resource Center. There are a few easy ways to search this database. First, you could always keyword search for an author or a title of a work. For example, I could put in Ursula Le Guin as a keyword and get a list of results ranked by relevancy. Notice too how these articles are divvied up into subject categories and that literature criticism has its own section. If I wanted a specific story, I could keyword a title like Wizard of Earthsea and get a decent list as well.
Here's a helpful feature, especially if your criticism is exploring story themes. The Subjects Filter. This will give you a list of topics contained in your search results. For example, if I am interested in coming-of-age themes, I could choose that and see what works cover that topic from among the list of results my keyword search has generated. Let's test some of these features. You can also do a person search by selecting that option and searching for their name. This is a very specific way to pull up articles that cover that particular person. It works a little different from keyword searching. This kind of search relies on the database index and may pull up search results that would normally be missed in a keyword search. You may follow the same kind of process to search for titles of a work as well. Let's go into one. There are some pretty cool features available in this database. Every database has a citation tool that you can use. These citations are auto-generated, so do double-check them, but they are typically pretty good. You also have the ability to send an article to your email and create a record of where you've been in case you need to come back there later. Here's a neat feature. As you read through, if you find a quote or a bit that you know you want to use in your paper, you can drag your mouse cursor to highlight it in the color of your choice and annotate it as a note. This is super helpful for picking out bits to use in your work. Now, these will all go away after your session ends, but if you go into Highlights and Notes, you can print or save all of your work as you go. Let's click back on the banner and get to the main menu and look at another helpful feature. especially if you're more interested in researching a theme or style over a specific author or author's works. Let's check out the Topic Finder. Let's experiment with Gothic Literature. You can see how your term relates to others. I'll click on fiction and then horror. This is a very neat way to discover works. You can reset the topic finder by selecting here. The other Gale databases search very much in the same way. In Gale Literature Criticism, you may browse topics for multiple works that cover a chosen theme. If you want to search for a specific work, there is an option to do that in the Advanced Search menu. Select Name of Work in the Field drop-down menu and then type in your title. There is overlap in these databases, 
but it is worth checking them out individually. That about wraps it up for Gale. Let's take a look at another database. Finding Literature Criticism in JSTOR. JSTOR can also be found through our Articles and Databases listing. JSTOR is a rather large database, and it contains much more than just literary criticisms. There are, however, around 453 reputable journals in the Humanities, Language, and Literature collection. Journals like Dickens Quarterly or Shakespeare Quarterly that even dedicate themselves to the works of a specific author. JSTOR has a really cool tool called the Text Analyzer that can help you discover material. If you are researching and writing your paper, you can upload part of your paper into the Text Analyzer and it will give you recommendations on research based off of what you put in. You may keyword search JSTOR, but since it has so much more of a large collection of items than the Gale databases, it helps to add the word criticism to your search of an author or the title of a work. You can look for the title of a work by searching within the results. Let's go ahead and click on a title. Like in Gale, there are tools handy to both cite this work and also to email it to yourself. Let's go back to the main page. And let's take a moment to practice in JSTOR. This wraps up JSTOR. I've saved books for last, and they can be a trove of information if you are patient. At the TCC Library, books and ebooks are most conveniently searched through our Discovery Search located on the home page. You can keyword search here, but your magic words are criticism and interpretation. This phrase will usually bring up results that have the criticism and interpretation subject heading for the author. Let's see how it works. Let's go ahead and click into one. As you can see, this item is tagged with the subject heading, Ursula Le Guin, K, 1929 to 2018, Criticism and Interpretation. I can follow this link to get more books and eBooks featuring criticism on this author. Notice I also have features here to generate a citation, or email myself the record. Let's go ahead and look at our search results list and click into another title. Most ebooks are keyword searchable. Let's go ahead and click in. This ebook lives in one of our ebook databases. If I look at the table of contents, I can quickly see that there is a chapter on the Wizard of Earthsea. If I wanted to, 
I could also quickly keyword search this book as well with the search within feature. All right, let's go ahead and move on. But before we do, let's take a moment to evaluate our understanding of discovery. So, what happens if there just doesn't seem to be anyone writing about your author or in the databases? You do have a couple of options. Google Scholar is an offshoot of Google that looks for scholarly materials online and also searches Google Books and database indexes. You do need to be cautious using it. For example, I've seen high school papers on here, but it can be very helpful. Access Google Scholar from scholar.google.com or head over to Google and search Google Scholar. Let's do a search and take a look at what we can find. I'm going to search for Earthsea Ursula Le Guin Criticism. A couple of things to note here. You can see if the result is coming from a book or if it's coming from a journal publication. You can also see sometimes what database a result is coming from. For example, this one is pointing out to JSTOR. While you do need to be careful on Google Scholar, just as you would on regular Google, there is something of a popularity index on Google Scholar. You can see how many times other publications have cited the result that you're looking at. If you have Google Scholar trained to look at TCC Library's holdings, Scholar will offer you a link to resources that we have in our databases. This is a great way to find items that we may have overlooked in our earlier searching. To train Google Scholar to look at our holdings, click on the collapsible menu, go to Settings, go to Library Links, search for Tulsa Community College. If you select us and hit Save, Google Scholar will look at TCC's holdings in our databases when you search it. That wraps up our lesson today on finding literature criticism. Thanks for watching and happy researching.